Hello and welcome to Intuit Websites videos. My name is Angela. I'm an advanced technical support with Intuit Websites. And today we're going to go over how to clear caching cookies. And there are four main browsers. They're each a little different. So we're going to go over Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. Now, I bet you're wondering, cache and cookies? What's cache and cookies got anything to do with my site? Other than I need my site to earn some cash so I can buy some cookies. Well, those are the wrong terms. In this regard, cache is a copy of site files the browser takes to help it load pages faster, something like a snapshot. Where cookies let the browser save information about your system and history that it can then pass to the server, usually used for things like shopping carts or login systems. Sounds good, right? So what's the problem? The problem is, is this means your browser could be showing you old information or could be sending old information. This is why when you publish your site, you'll sometimes see your unpublished site, the site with none of your changes, where the world sees your actual published site. This is also why sometimes you'll go to log into Intuit.com, and if the system's had an update but your cookies haven't changed, it's sending the wrong information. So you'll get this error, we're sorry, you've experienced an unexpected server error. So how to fix it? Well, we fix it by clearing caching cookies. And the steps that we're going to do is we're going to first go to about blank, clear caching cookies, close the browser to get rid of session cookies, very important, and then relaunch the browser. So the first one that we're going to go to and that we're going to clear cookies on is Internet Explorer. Now in an Internet Explorer, again, first step, we need to go about blank, just type that into the address bar. It's about colon blank, that'll get you a blank page. And then to clear your caching cookies, the easiest way to do it is hit the Alt key on your keyboard. That gives you these options at the top. Then click on Tools, go down to Internet Options, and then here in Browsing History, click on Delete. The ones you need to choose are Temporary Internet Files and Cookies. You'll also want to make sure Preserve Favorites website data is unchecked, just in case your site or Intuit is marked as a favorite. So once you've got these set this way, go ahead and click on Delete. It could take a couple of minutes, depending how long it's been. When you're done, click OK. And then again, go ahead and close the browser to get rid of those session cookies, and then you'll be able to restart the browser again. The next one we're going to go over is Firefox. Now with Firefox, again, we're going to go to About Blank to get a blank page. Once we're there, you can also hit the Alt key in Firefox to get your options up at the top. So hit Alt, go to Tools, and then go to Clear Recent History. Under Clear Recent History, it gives you a time range. Make sure to choose everything. And the two that you need to make sure to pick are Cookies and Cache. Get those checked. Click Clear Now. When it's all done, that'll go away. Close the browser, and then you'll be able to relaunch it again. The next one we'll do is Google Chrome. Google Chrome is a little bit different. The start's the same though, go to about blank to get a blank page. And then you can't hit Alt in Chrome. You need to go ahead and go to the right, click this little wrench to get to your different options and go down to options. On the options page, choose under the hood to the left and then clear browsing data. In here, you have the options again, choose the beginning of time and then choose empty the cache, delete cookies and other site data and then choose clear browsing data. When it's done, it'll go away close the browser and then you'll be able to launch it and log in. The last one we're going to do is Safari. And with Safari, again, go to about blank just like you're used to. And it's like Chrome, it only has the little widget over to the right. Just click on that and then go down to reset Safari. Now in this box it gives you a lot of different options. The only two you need are remove all web page preview images, this is your cache, and remove all website data, that's your cookies. Click reset, it'll go away when it's done. Click to close the browser and then you'll be able to relaunch it to log in. And you're all set. Thank you again for watching Intuit Websites videos and good luck with your site.